Joes, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you the third video in this series. Today I'm going to be ranking my top 10 WWE NXT Men's Championship side plates. We've already done the main roster championship side plates for the men and the women and it's time to move on to the NXT Championship. Let's go. Coming in in the number 10 spot, we have the side plates for Andrade. Now, Andrade has a very nice circular logo. Uh, I don't really know how to explain it, but that's it. he's got like a circular logo that fits in perfectly. And for these side plates, they decided to put an inner circle, uh, not an AEW reference, in the actual side plate. But then instead of using that circular logo, which would fit perfectly, they just used a banner that said Andrade, big CN, and then another banner saying Almas. Um, I don't think these side plates are necessarily bad. They're just not personally a favourite of mine. If Andrade wins a main roster championship that gives him side plates, um, I honestly don't think that they should use this design again. Um, mainly because his name doesn't have CN Almas at the end of it anymore. But to the circular logo that he he wears it on his knee pads, uh, that would just be much better. But yeah, number 10. Let's move on to number 9. <laughs> Okay, so coming in at the number nine position, we have the side plates for the Velveteen Dream. These championship side plates have only ever been on the North American Championship. And for those of you that have seen my previous side plate videos, you guys know that I am very, very uh, picky when it comes to my side plates. So I prefer them symmetrical. Um, I prefer them to have the color that's actually on the championship itself. And that main reason is a main, main reason why I'm not a fan of these. I love the design, don't get me wrong. The design is amazing. However, I just don't like the pink. But at the same time, the other part of me says, but the pink is Velveteen Dream. Um, so this is this is him. If they, you were to put just black, gold or like red on this, it wouldn't make sense because Velveteen is pink. Um, but I don't know. That's why they're not ranked my least favourite. But at the same time, they do have to be second to that. But Velveteen Dream side plates, I don't like how the colour doesn't match anything. But at the same time, I do like the design. It's a 50-50 here. Um, but... It is number nine, unfortunately. With that said, let's move on. Coming in at number eight, we have the first ever set of side plates to ever feature on an NXT championship. And with that being said, there really isn't that many photos. I could only find two clear photos um, of these championships. They are the Bobby Roode side plate. I just called them championships. They're not the side plates. But yeah, when Bobby Roode won the, uh, the brand new, I should say retain, but he won the brand new NXT championship in 2017, he put these side plates on them and they're nothing too special uh, but they are cool they're the Bobby Roode logo um, this logo has been featured on the t-shirt and that's all it is it's literally his glorious logo with like a uh, like a sunshine uh, sparkle sort of design um, with Bobby Roode written on it and that's about it but these are coming in at number eight really nice and they're the first set to ever be put on an NXT championship <laughs> Okay, so coming in at number seven, we have another set of side plates with next to no photos. I'm talking about the Ricochet side plates. Now these could be so much different and so much more advanced, but they're not. Uh, it's just the basic Ricochet logo. Um, and I'll put a photo up of the logo as well. These would have been so much better if they used that logo in full instead of just giving the box outline with the ricochet writing. Um, maybe even having them be red as well. That could have worked. But either way, there is literally no photos of Ricochet himself with these. Um, however, the ones I have got are photos of when Johnny Gargano beat Ricochet and Gargano holds up the championship. There is some good shots of the side plates in them. But the what the main problem is the side plates that don't have replica versions are really hard to get photos of. And these ones are just an example of that. But yeah, Ricochet side plates, number seven. Now next up we have a set of side plates that I'm a big fan of. Um, but once again, hard to find photos because they never actually came out with a replica version of them. Um, a lot of people don't realise the NXT Championship does feature, as a secondary colour, it features silver and grey. Um, so there's areas which have grey paint, some have, and then like silver, uh, yes, they are different. Um, but 
these side plates actually feature the grey paint, which works nicely in contrast to the gold. A lot of the NXT Championship side plates are mainly black and gold, uh, so it's nice to see things be switched up a little. Alistair Black obviously had a fantastic NXT Championship reign. These aren't my favourite set of side plates, but I do think these work really nicely, so therefore I'm putting them at the number 6 position. Okay, so halfway in, coming in at number five, I thought it's a perfect place to put the Undisputed Era uh, slash Roderick Strong, Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish side plates because these side plates are very different. You can buy replicas on WWE Shop that exclusively say Undisputed Era with the new UE logo. Adam Cole's side plates, on the other hand, have the old UE logo and say Undisputed on the top Adam Cole on the bottom. Then there's also the Roderick Strong and Fish and O'Reilly side plates. See, the Roderick Strong ones are the same as Adam's but with the new logo and the Fish and O'Reilly ones literally say Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish with the new logo. So these side plates all vary from each other but they are all following the same rough template design uh, with the Undisputed Era logo in the middle, Undisputed at the top um, other than the Kyle O'Reilly Fish ones and then obviously with the name of the member of the Undisputed Era at the bottom. So I'm putting in photos, you can see the replica side plates, and then there's also the ones that Adam Cole has, um, but they are all essentially very, very similar, so I'm counting them all under one little number. Coming up next, we have the side plates for Johnny Gargano. They can't be seen in this photo, but here they are. Um, and... The thing is about this is it's really annoying when WWE, um, when they have a new champion, because they, instead of switching the side plates out, then taking the photos, they take the photos with the previous champion's side plates on, and then they don't update the photos of the champion when um, they've got their updated side plates. So unless they release a replica, finding side plate photos is very difficult. But Johnny Gargano's are quite simplistic but quite advanced at the same time uh, I know that doesn't really make any sense at all but you can see what I mean it's not like he's got this Johnny Gargano logo on there it literally just says Johnny Gargano but then he's also got like a spiky border um, that adds to a, the effect of like just something cool to put on it it's just a nice aesthetic uh, but yeah I like the Gargano side plates very much they're cool um, I like the side plates to have more gold than black and due to Johnny having many letters in his name as well as the actual gold bit um, this this works so there is primarily gold on this although the background is black and you can still see it through I like it when there is a lot of gold on there so you don't see as much black if that makes any sense but yeah Gargano at number four coming up next I believe we have the newest set of side plates that have been debuted on NXT television and it is the Keith Lee side plates. I love these. This isn't the first time you're going to hear me say this in this video, but simplicity is key sometimes. Obviously, other times it's great to have loads of advanced stuff, but when you're a like you know, when you're a character like Johnny Gargano, where you're very colourful and you wear all these cool outfits. Um, then it's cool to have like quite a loaded side plate like he does. But when you're like Keith Lee, you're a big man, you're here to do business, you're here to win championships, you're here to make sure that everyone basks in your glory, then having simple side plates works. And these side plates are awesome. Keith Lee at number three. <laughs> Okay, so coming in at the number two position, we have the side plates of the brand new first ever British WWE champion, Drew McIntyre. These side plates are awesome, and that's because mainly they're silver, which is awesome. And leading on to a point I made on the Alistair Black side plates, the NXT Championship does have a secondary colour of silver, so I don't understand why a lot of these side plates don't have silver more. Um, the majority of NXT side plates, as you can see, are black and gold, and that is it. However, Drew's are silver and black, and it works so well. You can see in this picture I have, um, they've got like the side plates designed, the silver on the actual side plate, um, and these interchangeable like little side squares that are on them. Uh, it works perfectly, and for that reason, Drew McIntyre is my number two. Absolutely love these side plates, and I don't know why they don't sell replicas of them, but hey-ho, moving on to number one. 
And finally, coming in at number one, we have the Tommaso Ciampa side plates. Once again, simplicity sometimes is absolutely key. These side plates are nothing too special. They are literally just a gold bar with a black Ciampa written in it. And it works so well. Obviously, Tommaso Ciampa's character is this dark um, like hidden away he doesn't show his emotions and because of this just having bland side plates really works and I think it's so effective um, it's not necessarily the design that I love the most it's the backstory behind it the way it fits in with his character in general but these side plates are my number one favorite NXT Championship side plates. If I was to get an NXT replica belt, these are the side plates I would buy for it. They're absolutely fantastic and I love them so much. Anyways, with that being said, that's been my video, ladies and gentlemen. Would you do anything different? Top 10 NXT Championship side plates. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.